Hemisphere is rapidly taking physical shape. Alison Peary, director of design and architecture, is the man who determines the makeup of the fair. The most important influences on the physical design of Hemisphere have really grown from what San Antonio is all about. One of the most important things about our town is the San Antonio River. It makes us unique and different from other cities. The river flows through the center business district and it's possible, as you know, to uh, ride on a river barge throughout the central business district and enjoy an experience entirely different from walking around at street level, uh, thereby making a unique urban experience. Now that fact was one of the most important ones to us as designers when the site for Hemisphere was selected right downtown, just two blocks south of the Alamo. We decided at the beginning that we should bring the river itself into the Hemisphere site. We're digging a channel between Market and Commerce streets. The river will flow under South Alamo and uh, Broadway and terminate in the center of the city's new convention center. Now, another very important uh, influence on the design of the fair is the marvelous stand of old trees on the site. There are uh, thousands of trees that, because this was an old residential neighborhood, have grown to great height and are uh, irreplaceable. It would be impossible to plant trees of this size, large pecans and elm and oak trees. Now, we've carefully cataloged each of them, and we are conserving them. We have designed the plan of the fair to save these trees. Now, from the standpoint of content at Hemisphere, all that will be exhibited will speak to the theme idea, which I mentioned earlier. Now, each exhibitor needs to have the opportunity to expose his exhibit to as many people as possible. And so the logical scheme is a kind of donut circulation pattern where people walk around generally in a circular path with the exhibitors around the perimeter of that circle. And in the center of the donut, to continue this analogy, would be the fun and what we call the folklore section of the fair. That would be the rides, amusements, the food stands, and all the rest. And ringing, as I said, the outside perimeter would be the uh, proper theme exhibits. Now, these generally break down into categories like the governmental sector, the private exhibitor sector, the folklore sector. So the exhibitors at Hemisphere will fall into certain places in a kind of zoning pattern. This is so that the visitor to the fair will have an idea of what he's seeing and how it fits the overall idea of the fair.